Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and this is just a very quick video really just to let you know how I managed to photograph and live stream the recent partial solar eclipse that we had here over the UK. I don't know if you saw it but you can check out on the video that I did last a live stream. I did a live stream from a local park of the sun on Tuesday morning and it was a partial eclipse which meant that the moon moved in front of the sun slightly and took a little bit of a bite out of the sun. Now it actually looked pretty spectacular actually, more spectacular than I thought it would. It lasted from 10 o'clock until midday on Tuesday morning. The maximum eclipse was around about 11 o'clock depending on where you were and I'm just going to show you a picture on the screen now. This is the picture that I got with my iPhone. Now it's very pixelated and it looks very very grainy but you know I quite like it and I actually captured this picture here by using these solar glasses. These are solar safety glasses. These are from the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project. Can you see there? It's a charity there. And these were free. I got these for free. You can actually get these for free, but I'll put a link in the description where you might be able to get some of these from. And all I did was you see, this is the phone I used to, to do the, the live stream and to take the picture. And you can see, this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and it's got these three lenses on the back. It's actually got three separate cameras. Now, the bottom camera is the main camera, the normal camera. The middle one is the wide angle camera, which is very, very wide actually. And this top one is the telephoto camera, which gives you about a two and a half times focal length over the normal camera there and it's actually pretty good so i needed to cover this top lens up with these glasses so i just chuck it over there the, the camera would be like this on the tripod and i would put it over there like that and then we would be able to see the sun now if you've got a smartphone and you point it towards the sun you'll find that all will happen is you will get this picture here all you will see is a white blob there's no way that a smartphone on its own can take a picture of the sun and show the disk of the sun because the sun is so bright. There is so much light coming from the sun. There's no way the exposure, the shutter speed cannot be quick enough. The only way that you can really get a picture like I did is to use something like what I did here with the solar safety glasses or now I know that you can get neutral density filters for smartphones now, I believe, just like on a camera, you can get a neutral density filter to go over the lenses here on your camera. You might be able to use something like those. A minimum of a 10 stop you would need. I don't normally recommend neutral density filters, but I want to show you a picture now, what you can get if you use a proper camera, a bit like the one that I've got, a Nikon D850 and a telephoto lens using a neutral density filter. Check out this picture by Lee Mansfield, a friend of mine. He took this picture of the sun at the same time that I was doing the live stream, 600 millimeter lens, and Lee used a 16.5 stop neutral density filter, and that enabled him to lessen the brightness coming from the sun and to take this amazing picture here. Doesn't it look absolutely amazing? He's right in on the sun here. And you can even see little spots on the sun. Can you see the spots on the sun? Those are actually sun spots. Yeah, the sun is quite active at the moment and he's managed to capture those sunspots there. And what I like about this picture as well is there was cloud in the sky. I think there were jet trails and he's managed to capture those jet trails rolling across the sun there. And I think that that gives that image quite a bit of atmosphere. So there you go. That was Lee Mansfield's image there. So thanks to Lee for that amazing image of the sun. I'll put a link to his website in the description of this video. Right, I'm going to stick the smartphone onto the tripod now and we'll try and see if we can do a little video of me putting these over here and see what we can get right now. So it's getting low actually, so I'm going to have to be quick because it's going behind a tree. Okay, check this out. So I'm filming the sun and as you can see, it's just a big white blob. We can only just see it above the trees actually, it's getting quite low. It's after three o'clock now and the sun is getting low already. So. What I do is I put it onto the portrait camera. That gets us in a little bit closer. We can see it through these trees. And then I zoom in on the camera. Now this is a digital zoom. So we're not gonna get any more detail on the sun, but it will just zoom us into the sun a little bit more and just make it fill the frame a bit more. Yeah, you can see those trees there. I should have done this a bit earlier, shouldn't I? So anyway, now I take these glasses now and I simply 
place them over the look at this now oh look at that can you see sorry about the trees there had to be something in the way didn't there oh can you see that now there you are you can see the sun there now you can see those branches of the trees in front of the sun as well can't you and that's what i did now if you're struggling for focus you might want to if it's, if it's not focusing your camera, you might want to just move the glasses slightly so that the edge of the film is close to the lens so that this might have the effect of uh, bringing it into focus. That's just a little trick you can do in, if it's struggling to focus on the, on the sun. That's how I managed to video the sun and capture that uh, photograph of the eclipse. Very simple, but effective. So there you go, that was my video showing you how to take a picture of the sun using solar safety glasses, yeah. Like I say, a bit Heath Robinson it was, but if you want to see more videos like this where you use a smartphone, cheap ways of taking pictures of the heavenly bodies using a smartphone or a camera and, and little tricks like this to get those amazing pictures. And like I said, the picture I took of the sun, I'll show it again now. It's very, very grainy, it's pixelated, but you can see the sun with that bite taken out of it. It's like a Pac-Man, isn't it? And you know, I really, really like that picture and I'm going to print it for myself. So there you go. That's what you can do with a smartphone and a pair of solar safety glasses. I'll put a link to where you can get some of these from or the safety film in the description. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.